moving on from that one, we've got this um, article here, courtesy of New York Times, which I actually did find through Tremaine's profile, actually. So big up him for posting it. It says here, Virgil Abloh's legacy is about to get louder. Um, Shannon Abloh and the Fashion Scholarship Fund unveiled a new plan. So this features a new article written by Vanessa Friedman, highlighting Shannon Abloh and um, Virgil's wife here on the right hand side and a new initiative to kind of spearhead and I guess platform minority voices within fashion because funnily enough, everybody spoke a really big game um during the fucking you know riots and during the protests during the lockdown during covid about wanting to you know um what you call it diversify the hires in fashion in design in all these places and kind of you know um have a little bit more inscrutivity and whatever it may be and most of it i think was done in good faith i don't think people were just saying diversify for the fact of diversity diversity for the fact of diversity i think a lot of it was mostly hey we need different voices we need different faces different backgrounds in these positions there's plenty of them there but they never get hired and obviously because of the recent hires in fashion or being white dudes in fashion houses there definitely is a conversation need to be had about why is it always the same persons or the same type of people getting these jobs and there's not the diversity that that these brands or these fashion companies like to always kind of you know talk about we see it in a runway we might see in the editorial but when it comes to how what they do behind the scenes it doesn't really work so i do like the fact that people like virgil when he was around r.i.p to him and obviously samuel ross they have these charities set up where they prioritize platforming you know people from marginalized communities not just for the sake of you know here's a token fucking job more so of like hey i know you guys don't have access to this sort of stuff you don't have the visibility so i'm going to give you the visibility based on my celebrity based on my brand based on my platform and then hopefully once you get that platform you can then go and do good things so i like that that happens so let's see what virgil's doing here because if there's a freedom on new york times it says many companies including fashion companies may be going silent about the diversity and equality equity and inclusion initiatives in the face of the political change the last round of major design appointments may have not included a single creative director of color but at the least one group is doubling down on its commitment to broadening the style talent pipeline at its inaugural gala on april 8th peter arnold the executive director of the fashion scholarship fund the non-profit that is dedicated to expanding access to industry for the underprivileged students and shannon ablo the widow of Virgil Abloh will unveil a new strategic plan for the Virgil Abloh Postmodern Scholarship Fund. The new initiative will double the number of recipients and expand the way the fund de defines support. Love it. As such, it marks the next step in Miss Abloh's efforts to consolidate her husband's legacy. Mr. Abloh, the pioneer and black designer who founded the brand Off-White, collaborated with Nike and became the first black creative director of Louis Vuitton menswear, died in late 2021 of the rare form of cancer. Ra, it's been, it's been already nearly three years fuck bro it feels like it just happened yesterday 2021 god damn r.i.p to the groat um when he became the successful virgil was the first black face that many kids saw in a the room they didn't know that they could they could enter miss abla said via zoom from chicago just before getting on a plane to new york for the fashion scholarship fund event he and i talked about how can we turn this into something that really means something over time the virgil abla postman scholarship fund was part of the answer I would be curious how many of Virgil's core cool guy friends, the ones who were all begging it when he was around, I wonder how many of them actually turned up to this event, this gala. It's the first I've heard of it, but I wonder how many of his core cool guy friends, the ones that were always kind of asking for fucking shoes, always asking for lists and entry at fucking shows, always asking for collab stuff to be put aside, always asking for discounts at Louis Vuitton. I wonder how many of his fucking core cool guy friends were at this event. I wonder. Because I remember one of the most heartbreaking things about him when he passed away was, I think Shannon Abloh, his wife, saying in some interview that bare people came up to her during the funeral and basically saying, oh, I'm Virgil's best friend. I'm his best friend. I'm in this. I'm his that. Um, you know, and it kind of got a little bit, kind of, I would imagine it kind of probably felt a little bit much to all take all these people that you don't know and haven't met you know professing to be his best friend and basically trying to position themselves as like oh i'm the i'm the one that you should be talking to type of thing very bizarre but anyway we move it says now she said of the dei reversals it's really nerve-wracking seeing the changes that are happening but for me all it means is that the work needs to be continued to be louder it makes it to it, it, it just makes it just makes me double down and say okay we need to fight harder but that's the thing the problem i think it happened it's not really usually an equality of like outcome it's equality of opportunity that's the thing that i think they fucked up on i think all that diversity shit was good but i think a lot of it was mostly okay let's just get black faces in there 
even if they're useless just to mix things up i don't think that's the right way to go about things i think what you need to do is you need to uh, uh, you know allow access to these type of things to everybody that's real diversity and that's when you're definitely going to get far better product far better you know whatever experiences whatever for the customer at the end of it but they didn't do that they just did the easiest thing which is hire a bunch of black people um the darker the better the more quote unquote weird looking the better just to kind of tick some boxes and make it look like you're actually doing the work when actually behind the scenes you're not and the cultures around the company are still fucked up so definitely quality of opportunity which is also impossible i understand in some regards but when it comes to fashion unfortunately like there's no excuse you go to fashion shows outside inside the show it's a fucking smorgasbord of nationalities and races people from all over the world all shapes and sizes all colors and creeds so it's really odd when the fashion shows themselves and the, the people around it who love it are from all over the place but then when you go behind the scenes at certain magazines at certain brands it's very whitewashed it's just odd it's an odd balance you know what i mean in my opinion but hey what do i know Founded in 2020 by Mr. Abloh with a $1 million of seed capital, the Virgil Abloh Postmodern Scholarship Fund is administered by the Fashion Scholarship Fund. In February 2022, just after Mr. Abloh's death, it received the first major injection of funds thanks to a post homeless auction of 200 pairs of Mr. Abloh's designs that raised $18 million. Wow. God damn it, bro. I don't think there's ever going to be someone else that could raise that amount of money from just shoes that they designed. Obviously, it was obviously post his death, but... 18 million from 200 pairs but i think a lot of them were also louis vuitton collabs so they go for crazy amounts anyway which allowed miss ablo and fss to rethink the scholarship fund and what it can do redressing in the sorry readdressing in inequity inequity is a long and long long game that requires a consistent investment over time mr arnold said this amount of money that thank you virgil came to us allows us to weather some of the moments when other people are not so committed as you would expect them to be oh exactly miss ablo uh, miss ablo who's remained in the background when her husband was alive has only begun to speak out recently will be making one of her rare public appearances at the gala to announce a new plan with her will be her children low 11 and gray eight who will be seeing their mother step into spotlight for the first time they're starting to really ask a lot more questions about what i'm doing she says they're also going to touristy things such as seeing the wicked on broadway beyond simply expanding the number of grants recipients to 60 next year the rebound scholarship fund will involve a new bridge fund that will look at cost beyond tuition the fsf the fsf had discovered had some students who received scholarship could not afford to accept it um some some have to work miss abelo says they can't quit their job and go to school there was a student whose laptop broke and she couldn't afford to replace it so we're going to drop out of school there was someone who got a great internship at milan but couldn't afford a flight that's not okay said miss abelo in addition the um, the fashion scholarship fund is an engineering ways to reach out to students who are not in traditional art school track including connecting with community colleges mr abelo himself studied architecture and had no formal fashion education finally the fund is leaning on the extended network of miss abelo's friends to mentor grant recipients beyond the initial one-year period of scholarships the quote when students are going into their first job, I think it's really important that they have an advocate or mentor that they can learn on, they can lead on, sorry, to give them ideas and support. I had dinner with a handful of Virgil's friends last week, probably 20, which is a fraction of the friends and artists and musicians and DJ and people who run their own clothing brands. They're all alike and say word and we're ready to help. Mr. Arnold said that the group included the designer Tremaine Emery and stylist Gabriella Caffera Johnson, who also herself is an FSF recipient. Virgil was impatient, says Miss Abloh. He liked to move fast so he could have be ready for this to happen. It was always like, how can we can affect the most students in the biggest way possible? Beyond the Virgil Abloh Postmodern Scholarship Fund, Miss Abloh is finalizing plans for the Virgil Abloh Foundation, which she expects to introduce later this year. The goal will be providing an access and opportunities to young people, just as the VAPM does but in a slightly different way in 20 years i want the young kids who are interested in creative arts to find virgil the foundation will f provide a way for them to see his work and to have access to what he created it's also a, a, for our own children who she said were so young when his father passed i look at it as something that they will be able to dive into really learn for his dad on the outside house i know he would be super super proud she said um then did you correct herself is super proud big up man r.i.p to virgil um fucking tragic situation but at least his wife is obviously keeping his legacy alive and this fashion fun thing is looking really fucking cool as well fashion scholarship fun so if you're interested in it you know where to find the information do your googles and find out and r.i.p to the goat 
R.I.P. to the blood clot goats. <laughs>